Hello, welcome to unit 5, exercise 1, match the words or phrases with the correct picture. Picture 1, first picture, roller coaster, bumper cars, amusement park, carousels, freeze wheel, sky coaster, swings, gondola, wave swingers, Ghost Train Exercise 2 Read the definitions and complete the gaps, then listen and check your answers. A ghost train is a small train at a fun fair. It frightens you. A gondola is a long, narrow boat which carries people in and swings up and down to excite people at a fun fair. A roller coaster is a small fast carriage. You ride it on a light railway track. A bumper car is a small electric vehicle. You drive it in a special area at a fun fair and try to bump other cars. Exercise 3. Fill in the gaps with the correct rides, then do the puzzle. Number 1. A big wheel turns around with seats. Number two, a ghost train is very frightening. Number three, a bumper car is fun to drive. Number four, small children love carousels rides. Number five, sky coaster is dangerous. Number six, a gondola looks like a boat. Number seven, a roller coaster is very fast with carriages. Number eight, you move back and forth on a swing. Expressing opinions, talking about likes and dislikes. What do you think about roller coasters? I think they are crazy. I don't like roller coasters. I hate roller coasters. Do you like ghost trains? No, I don't. I think they are horrible. What does Mary think about bumper cars? She thinks they are amazing. She dislikes bumper cars. What do you think about fairies wheels? They think fairies wheels are dangerous. Dating fairies wheels are fun. Writing. Look at the pictures. What does Darren think about these rides? Write sentences about him. This is Darren. Fun, amazing, dangerous, and hate are the adjective and the verb that Darren uses. Darren hates gondolas. Darren thinks roller coasters are dangerous. Darren thinks ghost trains are fun. Darren thinks bumper cars are amazing. Another writing activity. Write sentences about the rides you like or dislike in an amusement park. Then share your ideas with a classmate. For example, you can write, I love fairies wheels because they are very exciting. Exercise 4. Write each adjective under the correct picture. Which adjective? Exciting, thrilling, frightening, amazing, interesting, boring. The movie is boring for me. The game is frightening for me. This job is very exciting for me. The party is amazing for me. This is very interesting for me. This sport is very thrilling for me. Exercise 5. And scramble the words to complete the gaps. Roller coasters are frightening. Big wheels are amazing. Hannah thinks bumper cars are boring. I like ghost trains very much because they are exciting. Wave swingers aren't interesting. I think roller coasters are thrilling. 
listen and complete the dialogue. A dialogue between Down and Mark. I think roller coasters are very dangerous and scary. I am sorry, I don't understand. I think roller coasters are very dangerous. I hate them. I disagree. I think they are thrilling. I feel excited. I always feel scared. What do you think of wave swingers? I don't like them very much. I feel bored. Wave swingers are amazing. They are my favorite. How about bumper cars? I think they are horrible. Horrible? You're wrong. Exercise 10. Choose the correct word. You can't touch the antiques. You can't wear shoes inside this place. It's forbidden. It's possible. You can find a public phone here. It's not allowed. You can't park here. It's forbidden. You can't throw rubbish on the streets. Can and can't. We use can to show that something is allowed. We use can't to show something is forbidden. For example, you can use your camera here. You can't ride a bike there. Exercise 11. Match the sentences with the correct signs. Sentence 1. You can use the phone. Can be matched with photo A. You can't smoke. You can't make a fire. Can be matched with photo B. You can't ride a bike when you see this sign. It's forbidden. Can be matched with C. You can't use your mobile phone. Can be matched with D. You can't swim. It's dangerous to swim. Can be matched with E. Expressions for agreeing and disagreeing. We can use these expressions for agreeing and disagreeing. For example, a conversation between John, Karen, and Pam. John says, I think bumper cars are exciting. Karen agrees. So, she says, I agree. I like bumper cars very much. But Pam disagrees. Pam says, I disagree. I hate it.